Hey, Bill here with 30 Minute Woodshop. Thanks for joining. Yes, I'm wearing hearing protection. Nothing's going on, but these are isotunes and I actually have music running in the background. These are great. For the longest time, I've just done earbuds underneath my regular uh, earmuffs. These things are a whole new, whole new step above for me. If you don't have a set, I definitely take a look at the bottom, hit see more and find the isotunes link. Love these things. They're well worth the price. Anyway, Today I want to talk to you about building a dove box. Now I have a lot of birds floating around here, uh, you know, all kinds of different ones. Doves always in the morning are cooing. So I thought I'd make a nest box for these guys. Uh, this is going to be something fairly simple, fairly quick and easy to do. Uh, we're going to be using these uh, fence boards. I have some scrap here, but a fence, one 5 8 inch thick fence board should do it for you. If you want to build this project, Go to the bottom, check the link for the blog, and there'll be a dimension sketch there you can use to uh, knock this thing together. Very quick and simple and easy. So on that note, let's start making. If you follow the dimension sketch, layout's really easy. We have a piece that's about 10 inches long. We need a piece that's 9 and 3 eighths. Okay, I need another piece that's, uh, I need three pieces that are five and a half. All right, one piece is just five and a half. The other two pieces are five and a half with a 45 on one inch. So what we got here, got that one, five and a half. We got here, five and a half. Five and a half, okay. So, pretty straightforward. We're gonna do some cross cutting on my radial arm saw. If you don't have a radial arm saw, you could do it on a table saw, or you can use a uh, circle saw, hand saw. This stuff cuts really easy with a hand saw. You can do the whole thing with hand tools. I do recommend if you don't have one of these, get a combination square, folks. This happens to be a Sterrett. Uh, Sterrett's are expensive, but that's because they're actually machine tools. When you're working in machines, you need something super accurate. You could probably get a cheaper one, but I'll tell you what, I swear by Sterrett. All right, now let's do some cross cutting. And with the leftover piece here, we're gonna actually do some, uh, do some slats to kind of make the, the uh, basket. Let's go over to the saw. You saw all the cutting, now we're down to some gluing and nailing. This is all it takes. Now I, did, I have it set up here on a, on a uh, 2x4 just to get it high enough so it's easy for me to, to uh, nail and I don't have to worry so much about it. So I'm using an inch and a half brads here. So real quick safety note, anytime you're using an air nailer, keep your fingers clear. I've actually stapled my fingers together at one point. So always be aware, they don't always, the nails don't always go where you think they're gonna go. So just keep that in mind and keep your fingers clear. Oh, I love it when a plan comes together. Look at that, perfect fit. Okay. There we go. Now what we have to put on are the back and the sides. I'll be back in a second. All right, let's put the back on. 
<clears throat> this is really just a piece of scrap. A little bit smaller than what it says in my, uh, in my plan. But really all you're trying to do is hold this whole thing together. And this is also where you're going to be screwing in, uh, screw into to keep it uh, affixed to a wall or a fascia or soffit. Actually fascia, not soffit. Okay, we're going to cut these off in a couple of minutes. Matter of fact, let's cut them off right now. So you can see how that's done. So this is the Japanese style saw. And all I'm going to do is just follow it. And there we go. Perfect for the job. Now we're going to put the two front pieces on. And what happens, this goes to the back of the wall. So you can put a screw here and a screw here. And then this is just going to be the basket that's going to keep the uh, nesting material in. Okay, I just gotta cut these off, and it'll be done. Back in a minute. Another fast and fun project. Easy to do, and a great kid-friendly project. If you wanna do this with kids, pre-cut all the parts, pre-drill some holes for some brads, then give them some glue, some inch brads or inch and a half brads, and a hammer, let them go to town. They'll knock this together in no time and really have fun doing it. So all that said, if you want to make this project, go to the bottom, click See More, and you can find my blog. In that blog, you'll find a dimension sketch. Click on that and you, or copy that, and you can uh, build this thing fairly easily. Uh, also down there are links to a number of tools and things that I use. Explore those. You might have some fun or find something you need or can use. And... Uh, Hey folks, if you got something out of this, do me a favor and hit like and subscribe. And until next time, good making.